What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Free One Up, one more time, one more again. No. Um, just my thoughts about Shuma Gorath and Jill Valentine, you know, downloaded characters for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, DLC, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, I don't got the characters yet, but I got a chance to play with them last night, some offline casual we had. <clears throat> but as far as Shuma, Shuma's all right. He's like, he takes a little bit more damage than I think he should. I guess that's because he's his specials. I don't know. His specials are pretty good. He, he's not my type of. He's not gonna like be on my next team. He could possibly be a troll character. He might earn a spot to get right next to Modok and troll right alongside the man himself. You know what I'm saying, right there? Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, his, I like his. Uh, his heavy attack one that just, it's just like I think it's like NBC two. I never played one. I, matter of fact, I never liked him. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I never liked him. I don't hate him no. So uh, his little heavy attack hit you like what eight times or seven times? Like da -da 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 all his tentacles hit you like an octopus or something. I don't know what the heck he is. I, I don't care. But uh, yeah, his moves. I like his moves when he you jump in the air and you hold hold some button and then he comes down into his little spike ball and he just stays into a spike ball he stays into one like, like he's weird you know um i'm sure some people like him you know you got a couple specials he got like three specials he's he can be pretty annoying at times you know but he does take quite a bit of damage uh but that's okay i might mess with him maybe one of these days uh, he's just a character he's not a wasted slot but he's just one of them characters I ain't gonna be using like that. Uh, you know. Um, what else? He's, yeah, he's just pretty good. I don't know. Whatever. Shuma, it's Shuma. Like, it's just Shuma. You know, it's not like, forgive me for not leaping for joy. It's Shuma. Yeah. Um, he's okay. Let's see. As far as Jill Valentine, I was actually looking forward to Jill. And I actually like Jill. Now, a lot of people be like, man, oh, this ain't the, uh, this here, this ain't the one from Marvel 2 with the zombies and the pistol. You don't need that. I was looking forward. This is Resident Evil 5. This is that frog stance Jill. That frog stance Jill. The frog stance, the one with the thing on her chest from Resident Evil 5? Yeah, that's that Jill. I like that one. I like blonde Jill. Uh, the only thing, one of the Man, she can't take damage for nothing. It's like she takes a look. She take more damage than she's worth. I think she's one of the most unique characters in the game. She got the little stance when she do her uh, cartwheel. When her cartwheel, she can do go forward, kind of like Jury on Street Fighter Four, Super Street Fighter Four. Uh, yeah, kind of like her teleport. I, mean, I actually like it because it gonna go in. It can go in any direction, you know. And you can like keep the pressure on, and that it, alone is probably the reason why she takes so much damage. When she gets hit, like, like you look up and you ain't got no health left, you know, and, and you doing a lot of damage on them and you just about to die, you know. But uh, she's one of the only characters that I can think of right now that you can get the air combo. You can get light, light, medium, medium, heavy, launcher, all in the air. It's like easy, you know. All the other ones you gotta delay that jump, you gotta jump. She just before you get up there, she like. Nah, 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 nah. You know, she only, you know, I like that. Yeah, I like her little Luke Kane kit, you know. She got a little light cartwheel, so a little medium cartwheel into Luke Kane kit. It's kind of like Wesker. He got light palm, medium palm, and that little butterfly. <laughs> you know, that little run he got, or whatever. But, uh, she kind of similar to him in that respect. Um... Her special, her little spinning around jumpy gun special, looks completely worthless. I'm just gonna be honest with you. The only use I didn't found for it is, it's like it's a full screen OTG, and I'm not even sure about that. It's like she just, but it still costs you one bar. Even if that's the use, it costs you one bar. You got other people do OTGs for free, just for. Wesker got that pistol, man. I, I still don't find, don't see the use. I haven't really experimented with that because I just thought it was useless. I, I don't know. But, uh, 
She's fast. She's really fast. Her speed makes up for stuff. You know, like she got that slide. I like the slide. Yeah. I like Jill. Like, man, do you need the rest of the, um, the pistol, Jill? What the zombie? It was called the future, so get used to it. Uh, yeah. Frog Stance Jill is here to stay. Frog Stance, you know what I'm saying? So we'll feel a froggy, pick Jill, and leap on him. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Just tell me what y'all think about the characters. You know. Uh, Jill, um, I think I'm gonna practice with her. She's one of the most unique characters in the game, so. I wonder who they're gonna have next. You know, I hope they're gonna have, like, at the bottom, the bottom two slots, obviously. I'm hoping it's Bison and Virgil, but I don't know. It's like other characters seem like they got more priority at the moment. Strider. I actually like Strider. Um, Frank West, or he's one of the candidates. Uh, Mega Man, you know, they, they act like they don't want to put him in for some reason. But we're going to keep him. We're going to dangle, dangle him in front of you like a horse. A carrot on a horse. I'm like, man, keep, yo, keep playing, Capcom. Uh... And another character, that Jabroni Phoenix, right? Ugh. No. Phoenix is wrong. Phoenix Wright is wrong. Ah, he can kick rocks, man. Right? Objection! I object to Phoenix Wright being in this game. You feel me right there? And I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? <laughs> nah. Uh, that's like Chris Jericho. But, um, Phoenix Wright, he can kick rocks. Just tell me what y'all think about the characters and, you know, yeah, I do want to see what y'all, you know, think. Are you going to be main and Jill, you know, point man? You're going to be main and Shuma, point man, or assist man, or whatever. But if you're going to scrap them, I heard some people that they ain't going to buy Shuma or certain characters, so they ain't going to play with them, so they ain't going to buy them. They're going to have like an un unfinished roster. <laughs> it's kind of funny the way the roster is going to look when it's not, you know, but it's funny. Like, they should have had like a bundle, like five dollars for both of them at the same time, but it's a little bit too much, I guess, or uh, too little. Like, that's a lot of work for these guys. Should be ten dollars. Yeah, it should be ten dollars. It should be ten. Man, you better. Nah, nah, you better charge less. Come on, five dollars, man. Kick rock. But I'll get them eventually, sometime. When I feel like training with them or whatever, I don't know. No rush. All right, that's about it. I'm out, everybody. Peace out, Ninja. Nah, I'm gonna add a little point. You like that point? Yeah.